All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sailing fans of all ages. Yeah, that's right. Captain Jack here. We are on our boat. Lorana, who has not yet been officially changed from Passage. It's still technically Passage. That's what it says on the back. Um, I want to do a little video here and talk about a few things. Ooh, the wind is blowing. You guys will notice right away. We have a jib. We're a sailboat again. Oh my God, a sailboat. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Oh, wait, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna come back around here. So the community around us is recovering from Hurricane Ian. Hurricane Ian did a lot of damage to a lot of people's property. And uh, luckily, Lorano was not damaged badly. We had to replace one rope, the main sheet, no, let me rephrase that, the main halyard. And we did actually have to replace this rope here, but I was lucky enough to have uh, used the repurposed the original main halyard for that one and that is for the spinnaker which this boat has a beautiful spinnaker you guys will get to see it once we get out sailing you guys are going to get to see all the sails up full bore and rocking all right so our main sail of course is here i'm not going to go down inside because it's kind of a mess right now but uh you know, this boat means so much to us, and we we're so lucky. We came back from Don and Trevor's last weekend, and uh, we had such little damage on it, and other people had so much damage, so much destruction, so much devastation. It's, it's sad to me that a hurricane will come through every, well, the last one I think was 2004, the last bad one in here. And uh, that uh, that made, you know, this, this boat survived in this same exact place, but a lot of people's property was damaged. Um, I'm going to do a little turn here and you'll be able to see behind me. You'll notice that that house directly behind me there, their cage for their pool, gone. I spent three days cleaning that up, helping the owners of the house clean that up. Um, Pam, you're a rock star. You did this. The guy behind over here, his roof is gone. You'll see all the blue tarp up there. Yeah, roof's gone. So I want to turn this way too. The gentleman behind here, that island packet, these boats all went right to the bottom, it sat on the bottom. And his island packet leaned over against his deck, his dock. And uh, it ate the teak rub rails clean off the boat. Two spots where it's right down to the fiberglass and into the fiberglass. So lots of damage. And, you know, again, we were lucky. We were so lucky. Um, you know, Mike back behind me, right over here, that is a Hunter Passage 45. Beautiful boat, big boat. He uh, had a little bit of damage on his rub rail. A little bit of damage, not much. He bent a, a stanchion over pretty good. Other than that, very little damage. So we got lucky. You know, we just flat got lucky. Whoa, where are we going here? Oh, his dinghy, it leaks. I'm trying to buy it from him. It'd be nice if I could get a good deal on it because that's a nice dinghy. Although I really like my dinghy too. It's uh, it's uh, just pretty cheap and pretty old. So the people across the way here, that uh, house back there, they lost their cage as well. They spent the last two days just tearing that out. You know, uh, guys working hard, man. 
working damn hard. So many people are working hard around here to just get all cleaned up from the mess. Um, I wish I could remember how to flip this thing around so I could use the front front facing camera. But uh, when you've had a couple of Long Islands, you just don't know. You kind of guess at it. So I'm just going to kind of do a little walk around here and I'll do a 360 up in the front so you guys can get an idea of the amount of rubble we cleaned up out of this yard and out of the neighbor's yard and the neighbors and the neighbor's yard. We really have done a lot of work here. This neighbor over here has killer chihuahuas. They'll kill you and eat you. They're chihuahuas. Pretty much not scared. That's just me though. So, as we turn here, behind me, whoa, not this guy. You'll see this pile right here. That used to be all full of aluminum. People come by and pick that up pretty quick because that's recyclable and uh, you can make a lot of money on that. This is all the branches, well, part of the branches from Pam's yard. Over there across the street, there's more branches from Pam's yard. This was, uh, this was a real mess. We've, we still have a big tree to move, but it's really heavy. And I'm kind of wussing out on, uh, on doing it. So the other day I helped Pam block up her, her mailbox, which is right there. Oh, uh, yeah. If you look down the street here, you can see there's just a lot of damage. Just a ton of damage. But, you know, life goes on. We clean up. We continue. Florida's a bunch of tough people. You just never know when a hurricane's going to come and take away all your stuff. So, these people have been through it before. They'll be through it again, I'm sure. Which means as soon as we get our anchor chain, yeah, we'll probably be heading to a different location, but you never know. We might stay here for a while because Pam has kind of offered to let us stay as long as we want because we we really like helping. We like helping people. Uh, we really just want to make sure that everybody's as happy as can be. Now, the reason I moved away from my de my boat was because a couple of power boats were going by and they had music on. And damn it, I don't want somebody else's music to give me uh, a strike. So we, uh, I ran away to the front of the house. We're gonna step out onto the boat here. Uh, the tide is coming in right now. It's a little low, but we're gonna be getting up high pretty soon. We're gonna try and find a pump out here pretty soon to, to get the uh, the toilet tank pumped out because that's uh, it's full, so it's gotta go. So right now, we're not doing things the way you should. We're peeing in a pitcher and we're not dumping it overboard. You know, the fish pee in the water all the time, so I don't see a problem with that. I'm gonna turn around here so you guys can see behind me, there's uh, some of the wildlife of the world. Right there on that post. That was pretty cool stuff. All right, you guys, I understand the wind's blowing pretty good and I lost my dead cat for my microphone. So I'll wrap this up, a little 10 minute video. I want you guys to know that my heart goes out to all the people in Florida who lost stuff, who lost virtually everything. So many people did so much to try and clean up and all that stuff, all of the efforts that are made. Man, it's awesome. My grandkids, if you're out there watching, you all know what that means. Captain Jack out. You guys have a great night.